New tonight in Southern Utah, a not your average project is happening at one St. George High School. Students at the Utah Arts Academy are about to become published musicians. This is fantastic here. New specials Tamara Vaifanu is sharing this touching story and the effort it takes to release an album. I'm gonna be a good sport. Music was like my first love. I think I wrote my first song in like third or fourth grade. Songwriting is more than a hobby for Emerson Williams. It's like a way of showing your mind to people. It's like a journal, but in song form. She attends Utah Arts Academy in St. George, where students learn how to turn their passion into a full-time gig. Growing up, Blake Foster developed a love for music, watching his mom play the guitar, piano, and drums. I've been writing songs on my own. Now he's learning from professionals. There's so many different parts to it that I didn't realize. Like Cameron Stymus, the songwriter and music producer moved from LA to St. George during the pandemic. People would travel to me and we'd work on their songs. Then he found new clients at Utah Arts Academy. And I was like, you guys write songs here? <laughs> you guys do this here? Like you have artists who want to do this for a living? I'm like, I'm in. Let's play something here. Right now, they're getting ready to release a live album, 13 songs written by students and recorded live in front of an audience. We released two singles so far. Already has 3,100 plays in the first two weeks. Students can build on this foundation. My dream college is Berkeley College of Music out in Boston. I'd love to move to Nashville. Just getting in the music industry in some way would be fantastic for me. And put St. George on the map. To think about someone in high school to be able to write stuff like this. From St. George, Utah. St. George, Utah. I mean, come on. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Bifanua. Sound great, don't they? They really do. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. Uh,